Good evening from South Cambridge here in the United Kingdom. This video today is about solar. And as the sun set and we've had so much glorious light all day that's powered our home. I've recently had this solar system installed. It's a 20 panel solar system with a double battery at the back. So in terms of the solar panels on the roof, that's a 7.8 kilowatt system. And on the back, it's a 16.4 kilowatt battery system. That's a give energy battery system. So I'm gonna jump in the house and give you more details on how that's performing. Uh, and it might help you decide whether you think solar is right for you or not. Welcome to the indoors and despite me hating the sun before I had solar installed, and I don't mean that in terms of hating it generally, I, I love it, I love sunrise, I love sunset, but I'm just not keen in the midday stuff when I burn because I've got fair skin. But this is my love for the sun now because I know it's going to generate me electricity. And it's also going to save me a, a hell of a lot of money from what I've seen in the last few days. So this is what I want to try and do now is share with you what that looks like and I'm going to try and keep it real simple as I say I'm new to this system it's a give energy system my my batteries give energy my inverters give energy I'm going to try and talk about it in a way that uh, well I can understand and you can understand so here we go uh, okay <laughs> that's not a good start that's how much uh, we have saved in terms of CO2 uh, and these are pretty terrible stats. I guess they get better as time goes on in terms of electricity. So if we, I wanna, I'm gonna start with the power graph. This is pretty interesting. So if I scroll back to day one, whenever I originally got my system, I was slightly concerned because this is when the system was switched on here. And as you can see, all of a sudden I'm pulling loads from the grid, but the battery is starting to charge. So the battery had some charge in it whenever it was switched on and it immediately started discharge. And that wasn't great for me, uh, but it did start to pull in energy from the grid. Um, but that was actually the system calibrating itself, but it did scare me at the start because I was thinking, oh no, what's happened? For disclosure, I spent £12,000 on my system. I got it from Halo Renewables Limited and they're based in Peterborough, they're a family company. And the equipment that I got was Give Energy. So it's a Give Energy battery, it's a Give Energy inverter. And I must say that this dashboard is really, really useful. Like if you look up here, for example, at the minute, you can see that my solar at this time of night is currently 10 to 6. It's putting energy towards the house and it's also putting energy towards the grid and it's not putting anything towards the battery because the battery is already 100% charged throughout the day. Now at this point I need to break down my system so you can understand what this means. So I have a 7.8 kilowatt system on the roof which is 20 solar panels. At the back of the house I have a 16.4 kilowatt battery system which is 28.2 batteries so coming back to day two this was an overcast day and you can see here I was yeah I mean during the day it's pulled overnight you can all this red here is where the battery has been pulling energy overnight and this was about calibration and it's quite obvious in the next few pages you can see why I'll come on to cost shortly in terms of what that actually means so you can see during the day where it's pulled a bit from the grid. We are quite a heavy usage family in terms of electricity. We would normally use between 30 kilowatt hours and 40, which is quite high. That's about eight to nine pounds per day at current rates. And you can see as we went towards the end of the first day, that it starts to pull again there at about nine o'clock onwards. So moving on to the 19th of June, well, I think that's day two, and this was confirmation about what I invested in. So you can see here it's pulled a little bit, I mean this tiny, tiny bit of the grid overnight. And I think that was just to top the battery up, but as soon as it hits, I mean we're at the summer solstice, so it's the longest day of the year almost, and this is where it starts to get really interesting. There's very, very little grid use. And you can see here in red, the grid use, but the solar is pretty much part of our house the whole day. 
And to give you an idea of our consumption, we have air conditioning running, we have working from home. My my son is off, he's currently studying for his GCSE, so he's powering his PC and various other things on during the day. I'm also possibly charging my car there, so it's quite high usage, but the battery's still charging and we're not using much off the grid, which is a real bonus. So moving on to the 20th, this is this is really great. So you can see here that we hardly pulled anything off the grid overnight. And it's pretty mind blowing really. And then during the day, very, very little. And this is with air conditioning on, a lot of other stuff. And it isn't until the evening time, this is probably when we sat down to watch Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever we're watching Sky Go, who knows. Um, we started to pull some off the grid there. But it's still not a lot. As again, uh, as I said earlier, I'll come on to the cost in a second. So I move on to the 21st, and as you can see, the battery is fully charged by four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, pulling a little bit off the grid here and there. I guess that's where the oven goes on or, oh well, no, that's probably the air conditioning's going on that time of night just to cool the rooms down. Oven there, tea time, half past five. And then again there, first thing in the morning, whenever people get up and breakfast, that sort of thing. So you can see where your energy usage is, which I find really useful. And then moving on to today, this is this is another good one. So we've only really used electricity this morning because our battery was fully charged from yesterday because we had so much sunlight. So if I jump on to actual costs, this is where the, if I jump back to the first day we had it when we switched on. Yeah, so I can't really do a massive reveal here because you've probably seen there as well as flicking back, but first day whenever things were being charged up and there was being a lot pulled off the grid so you can see there that's when the system was first switched on so that was a friday night i think it was and overnight there it's pulled uh, quite a bit of electricity and that's cost us six pounds 23 pence and that is on our current tariff so i've entered the tariff details and it gives me a clear picture of exactly what I'm spending. So if I move on to the next day, you can see it's still pulling overnight and it's pulling a heck of a lot of electricity overnight. And that, that was a calibration of the batteries and the system. So that was seven pounds and 59 pence. So that's not really di any different to what we would normally put out in terms of costs. But the following day is where it gets really interesting. So we now shift down to one pounds 34 or sorry, one pounds 30 pence. And that's because we're hardly pulling anything. We're not really importing anything. The solar's running itself. The batteries run the house whenever there's not enough sunlight. We had a tiny bit of cloud that day. It wasn't much. And then jumping on further, 48p for that whole day. And that was on the 20th. So we're moving down from eight pounds roughly or more as the case might be on our current unit price which you can see here to about one pounds 80 pence today is going to be an interesting day because there is been there's been masses of amount of sun you can see what we're generating we're still generating more than we're using so if you look at the how this works up here we're generating three point kilowatts of energy and we're currently consuming 1.5 again there's an air conditioning on i'm sure the cooker's on we've got an inverter cooker and that's using a lot and we're actually exporting so we're making money while we are well, the sun's still out. It's amazing. Um, I don't know how it's going to work in the winter. Not quite sure. But we're no longer charging our battery because our battery is 100% charged. So I guess my conclusion from the first couple of days is that this is mind-blowing that I didn't do it sooner. I regret not investing in solar when we built our house 10 years ago. I think it would be a smart investment. But I think the prices were actually more than they are now. And granted, the prices are going to go up because there's going to be a higher demand for people wanting solar. 
And that's due to, well, the, the, the global national price increases. We're fighting against something that we, you know, we couldn't have foreseen. In terms of full disclosure, for the cost of my system, it was £12,500. And that sounds like a lot of money, but when I look at my electric bill, which I was paying up to £300 a month, and potentially I'm going to be paying a tiny, tiny portion of that every month now in my solar's work, and especially over seven or eight months where we have quite a bit of sunlight, it's going to pay for itself very quickly, in my opinion. I've been really impressed with this, and I want to say again a massive thanks to Halo for your install, your help. I researched this for ages, and it took me a long time to decide in a company. I had loads of companies come out, and Halo were the people I, I settled on. And this is not a PR stunt for, for these guys. It's purely because they've given me a good service, and it's now saved me money in the long run, and I appreciate it. So I'm going to jump back now to the outside broadcast. Now that you've seen the inside of the system and the generation, consumption, etc., and how it might work. And I hope that's been helpful. So there you have it. Of course, this is just the summer months when the days are really long, but I can already see the financial benefits in having solar installed in our home. I think it's worth it for us, but is it worth it for you? Well, only you know the answer to that. So I hope that's helped in some ways. Whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one, and I will catch you later.